Hello students, welcome back. And we are still on page 60, and we're on part two of lesson number two, conversation, going out. And we're on B, listen to Ted call the Sanger Theater. So you're going to listen to a phone conversation between Ted and somebody at the Sanger Theater. And this is what you're listening for. What's playing tonight? What's playing, it means what is the program tonight? We say, what's playing? You can call and ask about a movie or a, a drama or a concert, but usually when you say, what's playing tonight, you're talking about a movie, you're asking about a movie, or you're asking about a drama, a clown, okay? What's playing tonight? So pay attention to what is playing tonight. And where is the theater? So where is the theater? You're going to be listening for the name of a street and the number of a street. Okay, so listen carefully. The phone rings. Thank you for calling the Sanger Theater. How can I help you? Mm, what's playing tonight? Tonight is the final performance of The Mousetrap. The Mousetrap. That's a mystery, isn't it? Yes, it is. Great. I love mysteries. And where are you located? We're at 143 North Rampart Street. How do you spell the name? Rampart. It's R-A-M-P-A-R-T. So that's 143 North Rampart Street. Oh, do you still have tickets? Yes, we do. I'd like to reserve two tickets for tonight. Okay, so did you get that? Ted is calling. The box office picks up the phone and says, thank you for calling the Sanger Theater. How can I help you? Notice the, the theater does not just answer, hello, hello, hello. No, they answer and they say, and they identify themselves. Hello, thank you for calling the Sanger Theater. So if you work for a business or an organization, and if you answer the phone, you should identify, not just say, hello, but you should identify, hello, this is the Sanger Theater, may I help you? This is the name of the school, the name of the business, the name of the organization, or you can do it yourself. And so this morning, someone called me and I didn't recognize the number. I didn't know the number, but I answered, I said, hello, uh, this is teacher Charles. And they closed the phone because it was the wrong number. So notice how they answered. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling the Sanger Theater. How can I help you? And then Ted asked, um, and he says, mm, sometimes these are called filler words. Mm, uh, uh, those are, we use those words when we don't know what to say. Try not to use them. It's not good to use filler words, filler words. But he says, mm, what's playing tonight? My man, what playing? What's playing tonight? And the box office, the theater says, tonight is the final presentation of The Mousetrap. The final presentation means the last time this program is, the, this is the last program. The final presentation, to present something means to show. And so presentation is the noun, and it means the showing of something. And so this is the last night that we're going to have this program. This is the last night people will be able to see this program. And the name of the program is The Mousetrap. A mouse trap. What's a mouse trap? Well, you know what a mouse is or a rat. Sakandal. And so it's a trap. It's something that will catch a mouse. Okay, so that's the name of the program that evening. And Ted says, the mouse trap. That's a mystery, isn't it? My man, that, that's, that is, that's referring to the program, the mouse trap. That's a mystery, isn't it? 
A mystery is a kind of movie or a kind of drama where you, something happens, but you don't know what's happened. And so the entire program, you're watching the movie, and you're trying to pay attention to who did what and what happened. It's a mystery. A mystery is something that we don't know about. And so there are many mysteries in the world of how did that happen? I don't know. It's a mystery. And the, the theater says, yes, it is. And so Ted says, I love mysteries. And he says, where are you located? So that means, where are you located? Where is your theater located? Where is your house located? Where is your school located? The location, where is the location of your theater? But we say, where are you located? Or where is the location? So we use the, the verb or we use the noun. If we use the noun, where is the location of your theater? Where is the location of your office? Where is your office located? And he replies, we're at 143 North Rampart Street. 143, or you could say we're at 143 North Rampart Street. How do you spell the street name? Sometimes it's difficult for people to hear us on the phone, and so we spell it for him, for them. And she says R A M P A R T. So that's 143, 143 North Rampart Street. Oh, do you still have tickets? So, do you still have tickets or are they all gone? Did you sell them already? Do you still have tickets? And he says, yes, we do. I'd like to reserve two tickets for tonight. Reserve means And so I'd like to reserve two tickets for tonight. Okay, so the question is, what's playing at the theater tonight? Do you remember? What's playing is a program called The Mousetrap. Don't know if it's a movie or if it's a, a drama. Drama is Lacan. We don't know if it's a movie or a drama, but the name of the program is The Mousetrap. And where are they located? What's the location of the theater? Located at, do you remember the numbers? 143, 143 North. Rampart Street. 143 North Rampart Street. Okay, so you say this after me, all right? Let's just practice this conversation, this telephone conversation, and you say it after me just to practice. Thank you for calling the Sanger Theater. How can I help you? Mm, what's playing tonight? Tonight is the final performance of The Mousetrap. Tonight is the final performance of The Mousetrap. The Mousetrap. That's a mystery, isn't it? That's... isn't it? That's a mystery, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love mysteries. And where are you located? We're at 143 North Rampart Street. How do you spell the street name? R-A-M-P-A-R-T. So that's 143 North Rampart Street. Oh. Do you still have tickets? Yes, we do. I'd like to reserve two tickets for tonight. I'd, men men I like, I'd like, I would, I'd, I'd like to reserve two tickets for tonight. 
Okay, that's the lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.